on the field of greens. I'm not here to win workouts. I'm here to get fit. It's a long way to Manchester. And this is the first really specific session of the block. Welcome back. It's a long run session. We're at Beachley. It's the first time Kelly's on the bike filming me do a marathon session in, in months since before Berlin. Um, I always pull up at Beachley and have this massive sigh like, oh, here we go. The work begins now. Uh, so the session is four times five kilometers at marathon effort. And based on recent testing and runs, um, it's not gonna be 220 pace but we've still got eight weeks to go, so it's time to get some big sessions in, hopefully adapt and kick up the training and see what I can do. So yeah, I'll do it to effort. Hopefully it'll be in and around 5.30 pace uh, per mile, but we shall see. It's a little bit breezy, cold, miserable, but I'd rather that than the hot weather I was training in for Berlin. So yeah, let's get out there and let's smash a long run, but controlled. You've been so excited to come and film me at Beachley, haven't you? Mm -hmm. You love a marathon block. Listen, I make your marathon blocks because you only ever do a long run when I'm with you. <laughs> or Andy. That is harsh. You need hand holding. No, I have ticked off five or six long runs in this block, one marathon session on my own, solo. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nice. It's nice to be back in Beachley. Um, again, triggered, but... Uh, it's not looking that nice a day, really, but it's all right. Just settle in for some cruisy time on the bike. Ooh. We've we've upped our game, right? You you brought a speaker? No, I forgot the speaker. You forgot the speaker. I forgot the speaker. <laughs> I was so excited. We're like, you know what? Why don't we just buy one of those little speakers and we can have some tunes on these runs? Mm. One job. Well, we did have Two the jobs. we did Fil have the, speaker. we did have the idea with the headphones, didn't we, to share a podcast because we like podcasts and not particularly talking to each other all the time. So we thought we'd share headphones, but we haven't got headphones either. So yeah, it's just gonna have to be me. Chat and banter then, is it? Chat and banter. It usually works. We usually really boop. <laughs> Tried and tested. <laughs> So before we get stuck into this monster marathon session, I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, AG1. At the beginning of this marathon training block, I wanted to ensure that I did everything in my power to have a successful training block. So I decided I would start drinking AG1. AG1 is a comprehensive and really convenient nutritional supplement. It's so quick and easy to start my day drinking AG1 and that provides me with over 70 high quality ingredients that support mind and body. I try to eat pretty healthy in marathon training anyway, but it's a huge peace of mind knowing that I'm getting nutrient replenishment with a wide range of micronutrients. As I said, it's so easy to take. You just put one scoop in the shaker, add some water, give it a shake and drink it down. I wasn't really worried that it was gonna taste awful because that doesn't really bother me if it did, but actually I was surprised that it was quite nice. It wasn't as earthy tasting as I thought it might be. It was quite fruity actually, and yeah, really pleasant to drink. So a nice way to start the day, having something that I know is gonna be good for me and support my training. There's also peace of mind knowing it's NSF certified for sport, so I know it's rigorously tested. If you're interested in trying AG1, then go to drinkag1.com forward slash the Welsh runner to save yourself 20% off a subscription and they'll also throw in a D3 and K2 supplement and five free travel packs. All right, Kelly's gone for a wild wee, so I'll talk through my drinks. Um, I've got elite drinks in Manchester. One of the reasons I'm doing Manchester Marathon this year is so that I don't have to carry loads of stuff with me on the course. So I'll be practicing with drinks today. I'm gonna to be using OTE Super Carbs, lemon and lime flavor, love lemon and lime. Um, so yeah, um, hopefully that sits well today. And got Kelly with a bottle of it quite diluted and then I've got two soft flasks with it quite strong. Um, gonna try both, see, see how they go. Uh, all very trial and error at this point in the marathon block. My best marathon was Valencia and that's when I really focused on practicing fueling, writing it down, learning from each long run. So that's what I plan to do in this block, really try and dial in my nutrition, dial in my fueling and learn as much as I can from each long run. From things such as how long since I've had breakfast to the start of the run, the timings of taking on fuel, how much I take in the run. 
and hopefully train the gut to take on more carbs per hour for this long run. Um, especially as in that testing I had with Dan Nash in the lab, it shows that I'm a massive carb burner and um, don't utilize fat that much, even at low intensities. So uh, when you do the calculations, it means that I need to get a number of carbs per hour on board um, so that I don't bonk in the marathon. So that's the plan, OTE today, and we'll see how it goes. I feel like you've gone out jolly keen. <laughs> I don't know. You just like shut off all sprightly and positive. Trying to get us bring in my step. First five k is meant to be steady, not bloody. Uh-huh. Two minutes in and the conversation's already dried up. <laughs> ah look, blossom. Spring is coming. I did I didn't want to admit that on camera but I forgot to have broke first. What? Yeah, I know. I'm filming. But I've got lots of fuel, so... <laughs> so I think I should start my fueling now. Alright, I'm going to call it. It's going to be three, three 5k efforts, not four. <laughs> Thanks for the bully. <laughs> Basically, I, didn't, I forgot to have it early and I didn't want to have breakfast too close to the run. Um, I've talked about it in previous uh, vlogs where if I eat too close to a run, I can feel really sluggish and lethargic when I start the run. And that might be down to the release of insulin because my body doesn't know I'm about to exercise. So I'd much rather just start feeling now than have eaten something like an hour before and have issues at the beginning of the run. What is it called? It's like, I forgot what it's called, reactive. Have you nice seen or something like that? He's trying to nick all, all of the diabetic problems, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> There's only one type one in this relationship and it's not you. <laughs> We're a six ten a mile. RH148 cruising with some, some lovely OTE fuel, lemon and lime, and then back on the field of dreams or roads. Long running coming. Love the enthusiasm to begin with. He's in for a treat, he doesn't know we're coming around six times. <laughs> still be windy though so get used to it now. No it's not going to be windy it's going to be like a heat wave. Uh, <laughs> I, I hate both but if it's a heat wave well. No point you even starting is no, there? Not, not <laughs> Why do you think I'm going up north? Going north. All right John sir. Oh, that was smooth. Not my first rodeo. Oh, yeah, hey, double strip. What the? It's actually quite wild, apart from the wind. Wind's a bit chilly, but it's quite wild, isn't it? I won't be carrying it the whole way. <laughs> my secret push. Rumble. 18 minutes in, so not long before we get started. Have a little bit more fuel now. It's easier to take it on when we're cruising. And then uh, see what marathon effort feels like in the first rep. And go from there. Here we go. First block. Well, the second 
know if traffic lights can cause issues. I guess I can get on the pavement anyway. I guess you could. And you know what happens if somebody starts setting up traffic lights at Manchester? Get on the <laughs> what are you going to do then? Should probably be on the pavement anyway, but it's very Wait, quiet. Means go. Very quiet around here, and the pavements are um, shocking. Halfway through, how are you feeling? All right. Pace is where I expected it, so about five thirty-five at the moment. Quite breezy, but you know, I just gotta get through this session. Take it off. Well done, doing good. So we were just saying how um, over the years I've got a better, got better at cycling because when I used to keep up with Matt for his marathon pace, it used to be an effort for me on the bike. Now it's not. Seventy point three training that is. Bike fiend. First one done, 1725 uh, by 536 or something a mile. Felt alright. Very much just forget the ego, forget the splits I'd love to see, and just try and bank these four foot times 5k. It's a long way to Manchester, and this is the first really specific session of the block. One out of four ain't bad, kid. Try not to run you over there. We're on the second block. Bit of a hectic start, this. <laughs> Slow one, 543 a mile. But just float this K and there's one more rep. That's all it is. Easy. I'm not here to win workouts, I'm here to get fit. Here we go. Rep four. Bow chicky wow wow. Oh no, it's new now, isn't it? Domino. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Harry's the best at that. I know, he does a good one. He's really cute. <laughs> I love the way he's like, no mama, it's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
so competitive, he even wants to win Domino. Yeah, he is competitive for sure. Competitive and stubborn. It's, uh, it's a combination. There you go. If you want to know if you do an effort, we're going to hear Domino woo -woo, ringing out across marathons across the country. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm imagining. You're imagining running the streets of Manchester with signs of Domino. Woo -woo. People in the crowd are silent. <laughs> Gone is the phrase all in. <laughs> Here we are approaching the signs. It's a clear run at the moment. He's looking for a green go. It's a go, it's a go. It's a go! Thank you! It's free to run through. Great job, babe! back in the car, hoodie on, get warm. Um, so yeah, just really chuffed to have banked that. I've just looked at the average. The average for the full 5K reps in total was 5.38 a mile. I'll put up in case what that is as well. Got a long way to go, but I'm really happy that I've got that banked. Just less than eight weeks out from the race, rather than getting that sort of thing done four or five weeks out and thinking I've got no time. Um, so yeah, on tired legs. It's going to have a really decent training benefit and hopefully I can hit some quicker reps as we progress in the block. But I think like, even this morning I was feeling really tired and wasn't even sure I was going to come out and do the long run. So I'm just really proud that I got out here and got it done because if I don't tick the boxes then I'm not going to adapt and progress each week. Like It's so easy to skip a run here and there and, or skip a long run and before you know it there's no time left and you haven't got any time to get the training effects and adaptations. So a hard long run on tired legs, ticked off and we move on to the next one. <laughs> 